you know, it just kind of like a fairy tale. This story starts with the team, a crew chief and a driver. Ernie Urban and a Chevrolet. We knew Ernie was a great driver. So there was a lot of confidence, but not from the man behind the wheel. I was really down on myself because like, man, am I going to be able to hold up to what I need to do to be able to win this race? So Kingsport's own Tony Glover gassed up his driver. He said, you haven't been in a car this good. So I'm telling you, you can do it. Well, it didn't take long for the yellow Kodak car to be the center of attention at the World Center of Racing. Number four, which started outside of the front row today, getting the lead for the first time. But nothing was guaranteed until that checkered wave. You never know till it's over. Uh, Earnhardt found that out several times. He'd be leading right at the end of the race and something happened to him. And there's trouble up the turn two. And once again, history wasn't intimidated by number three. Dale Earnhardt and Davey Allison both out of this race. So as the event lost two cars, it somehow gained another driver. We had God riding with us. Listen, we were blessed. You think about it and you look at it, you look at her history, and you can say, how these guys done that? Good Lord must have done it. But it sounded like he needed to help these guys out just a little bit longer. We didn't know what to do. We didn't even know where Winter Circle was. I'm in almost in tears just because um, every... I mean, from the time I started racing, that was your goal to ever win the Daytona 500. Even after the race was over, you had to pinch yourself and say, we did this. So a fairy tale finish for a real dream. In Johnson City, Jesse Crawl, News Channel 11 Sports.